I'm Joe Thompson with CertainTeed. In this video, I'm going to show you how to prepare a granulated cap sheet surface for overlap in temperatures below 40 degrees Fahrenheit when using a hot air welder and Flintlastic SA self-adhered membranes. When self-adhering SBS modified bitumen roof systems, whether installing an end lap, base flashing, or other details, it's common practice to have to apply portions of the sheets on top of the granulated surface of an already installed cap sheet. These sections require special attention during application to ensure a long-term bond. As shown in several of our detail videos, the most common solution when temperatures are 50 degrees Fahrenheit and rising is the use of an SBS-modified cold adhesive, such as Flint Bond caulk or trowel grade. When ambient temperatures are below 40 degrees Fahrenheit, a heat and pressure technique replaces the use of Flint Bond. A hot air welder heats the bonding interface while a silicone or metal roller presses the sheet into place. For granulated surfaces, the hot air welder should be set to 8 to 10 or between 932 to 1130 degrees Fahrenheit. Smoke is a visual indication that the sheet is being overheated. The welder either needs to be turned down or moved more quickly along the sheet. When the sheet is rolled into place, you want to see no more than one quarter inch bleed out along the edge. Check all joints and laps with a seam probe for full adhesion. Finally, apply a bead of flint bond caulk along the edge. Some contractors preferred hot air weld granulated overlaps all year long. This is approved by CertainTeed. For more information, visit CertainTeed.com slash commercial roofing for construction details or contact CertainTeed Commercial Roofing Technical Services.